age-related macular degeneration is one of the one of the most common causes of blindness in in the Western world, uh, and again, this this affects the center of vision. We also see uh, a significant uh, amount of vision loss in association with uh, diabetes. So diabetic retinopathy can affect both the center and peripheral vision. Uh, it can affect both eyes and is a very severe problem in the United States. In in controlling vision loss associated with diabetes, uh, the mainstay of treatment is really controlling the diabetes prior to the point at which it induces vision, vision damage. Almost all of the treatment methods for diabetic retinopathy are really rescue attempts uh, to try to stave off the effects of diabetes on the retina. Ultimately, the only way we can stop diabetic retinopathy and vision loss progression is, is caring for the health of that patient overall to try to improve diet, improve glycemic control, control the blood sugars. Um, and, and hopefully, ultimately, we would not have to, uh, to treat the eye uh, as much. In addition to diabetes, glaucoma, which is an unseen, uh, uh, almost silent uh, visual uh, threat, uh, is, a, is a very significant cause of blindness in the United States and worldwide. And, that's, and glaucoma affects the optic nerve. The optic nerve is the, uh, is the portion of the eye and brain that connects the eye to the brain. Uh, when the optic nerve is affected, the peripheral vision is affected, and it can take many decades, but patients can lose their sight from that. In terms of treatment for glaucoma, we do have many treatments, but they're mostly based on early detection. And so regular examinations with an eye care provider are critical in order to identify uh, early signs of these chronic diseases, both diabetes and glaucomatous uh, damage.